YouTube and buddies. Welcome to my Pokemon channel and today I got a pretty neat battle against Sally. You're well aware of my main crew so let's get started. Of course I start off with who else? Mirchu. And this person apparently has seen my videos probably because he brought out uh, uh, she brought out Electivire. I begin with Nasty Plot and he begin. Uh, she be Let us keep saying he. She begins with uh, Electivire using Meditate, which raises his attack power. Okay. And for whatever reason, she withdrew him. Okay. So uh, here comes Latios, and I use Grass Knot uh, in anticipation for the Electivire using a move. And Grass Knot did way more than I thought to the Latios. And then surprise, disarming voice. Uh, this is a right shoe that I have in anticipation for Dragon types. And the Psychic didn't quite take out Mirachu, and then I withdrew the Latios? Okay. So, uh, here's Charizard. <clears throat> and Disarming Voice, which is not going to be very effective because it's a fire type, didn't do that much. But since my, uh, all my Raichus are max speed, so goodbye Charizard. Because Charizard, I don't think in any format, would be faster. If I remember correctly. So here comes Hikari, which is Sally's Lilligant. So I used Thunderbolt, because that's the max amount of damage move I have, and it did more than I thought. And then Hikari used Giga Drain, which took out poor little Mirachu. So I uh, chased away Electivire, got some good damage on the Latios, painted a Charizard, get some good damage on the Lilligan, that's very good. And then Fire Doggy. Intimidate is basically useless on a uh, Lilligan, so I had Fire Doggy go for the Fire Blast, and it missed! And Akari used Sleep Powder, but it missed. Why do people use Sleep Powder on this thing? Because it's 55 accuracy. It's less than Focus Blast. So here comes Dugong. Which is part Ice type, which might help. So it doesn't have thick fat, alright. Probably has hydration. So I use Sunny Day. to uh, Which is the signature move for this Arcanine. Which is my special Arcanine. The Dugong used Rest. Hmm, I wonder it's what I think it is. It is Resto Chesto. Ugh. So, uh, I think my fire, this fire doggy was max special attack. Was it max special attack or max speed? It was one of those. But anyway, Solar Beam didn't take it out like I thought it would. And Tonsek. Uh, luckily I have a move to sustain fire doggy's HP, so I might be able to keep it around longer than I thought. And then it withdrew the Dugong? Okay. So here's the Latios again. And a Solar Beam, which is not going to be very effective. But with Latios' HP low to Demirchu, would it be able to take it out? It wasn't! Ugh. So now what? Well, I'm faster, apparently, and I don't know how that happened, but Fire Blast, bang, Latios is out. And that was one of the big threats to me. So that was fun. But Fire Doggy's HP is slowly getting drained. Here's some Mod Champ, which usually means only one thing. So I had to go for the Fire Blast in order to try to get out immediately because his special defenses is ugh. And it almost did, and then he used Stone Edge? Well, it probably has no guard anyway because I assume it had Dynamic Punch, so yeah, I kind of figured that. So I had to bring in Weldon, which you guys probably think is a mistake, but with Intimidate, <laughs> no it's not. The Machamp did use Dynamic Punch like I thought he would. But would Weldon be able to get out of that and use Retaliate? No. And that was effectively useless at this point. Despite me dropping the uh, Machamp's attack power due to Weldon's Intimidate, that was all Weldon was able to do today. So I had to bring in Tamarkin, which usually means only one thing. And I had Tamarkin use Extreme Speed to get rid of the dang Machamp. Because I'm not going to have a Dynamic or Ice Punch me. So, hmm. The Sunlight is gone, which means I'm not, be not able to take advantage of the uh, Fire Punch, which Tamarkin has for Ice-types. 
The Electivire, though, did use Ice Punch, and this is the multi-scale to Markin. Thank you very much for using that. Because I had weakness policy on this one. And the Electivire has Life Orb. Great. I had to mark and use Dragon Dance when that happened in order to uh, gain some power and speed, and then Extreme Speed, go! And Squadoosh. So yeah. So here comes the Dugong! Great! So now what do I do? I gotta do it again! Because it's less than health, I should be able to take it out with the Extreme Speed this time by. I do! Alright! Let's go get him, Tamarkin. Hikari, which is uh, about two-thirds health. Extreme speed, go, because I don't know about Fire Punch at this point. And it works. And that was it! So I used uh, five of the... No, I didn't use Surfy. Well, anyway, that was a that was a very good battle. I kept this battle because I like the intrigue of the team that Sally has. It's a very good team, a very nice battle. I very much enjoyed it. It was very neat and very calm and very cool for me. Those, these are the kind of battles that I like. Use your favorites, like I do. It was very nice, very intense, and I'm very excited to have this battle with Sally. So thank you everyone for watching today's battle, and I'll see you guys in the next battle.